Welcome back, everybody. On the Hill tonight, a Democratic push to get more help for families into President Biden's COVID-19 relief plan. The proposal would permanently extend the child tax credit, sending up to $3,600 per child to families split up into monthly payments. Some Democrats say it would be a lifeline to families, though it is expected to face some resistance from Republicans. News Nation reporter Jesse Tenure has that from Washington, D.C. That's how we help lift 4 million children out of poverty in our country. Democrats agree it's time to change the child tax credit by boosting the amount and making it a monthly payment to parents. But they still have different approaches. We're not just throwing money at a, 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 a situation, but we are looking at enduring transformational change. Connecticut Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro's plan would make an increase permanent. It would send working and non-working parents $3,600 total a year per child under the age of six and $3,000 per child between six and 17 years old. All of this can set people on a path to economic security. Those amounts would go to couples making less than $180,000 a year or $130,000 for single parents. We welcome everyone to the debate. Other Democratic plans start phasing out the benefits sooner and make it temporary. And that includes a proposal from the Biden administration. It's a central priority of his first legislative proposal to cut child poverty. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says President Biden included a child tax credit change in his COVID-19 relief package to send monthly checks to families for one year. That's again emergency funding and something that will help people get through this period of time. Republican Senator Mitt Romney also released a plan to give parents even larger monthly checks on a more permanent basis. But opponents of these proposals warn they would discourage unemployed parents from trying to find a job. Jesse Tenor, News Nation, Washington.